let's get my horses back into shape. Okay, so I'm going to be talking through sort of what's going on here. So I start by wiggling the rope to ask her to back up, mostly so we can get into a better position to start doing our stuff. I stop completely. Um, she drops her head. She's relaxed. She's calm. Stop her asking for flexion. She gives it straight away. So I don't even have to tug the rope at all. Um, here I'm just having her move so that I believe she'll be in a better shot. I don't think I could see my phone at all, so I didn't really know. And again, she gives it perfectly on the other side. She is just so good whenever she knows what you want. She already knew what I was going to do because we do the same kind of routine. Um, so I'm just asking her to move her back legs. You can see that white one is the inside of that time and it steps the first little step. It goes over the other one and then um, she moves again. Super easy. Now we're walking to get more space so we can get more into lunging. As you can see, there's another horse in the arena with us. It's Bucky. So I've been getting them back into shape and I have two horses in the arena at the same time. Um, one so that they don't like freak out that they're alone and also because it's just easier for me. I then get to work with two horses really quickly back to back instead of having to go grab another horse. So I'm asking her to just move in different directions. Usually my feet are planted. I was moving my feet to give us both just the space we need. And there I asked for the stop. So this is me just getting her thinking, getting her moving. Um, to start out the lunging, I just ask her to move in both directions so I can see how she's listening. It's nice and gentle. With Eden, I nev the rope's almost never tight um, because she's just so... She's the queen. She is so easy at these things because she just knows what I want and she just gives it to me. Um, it did not start out that way by any means. Um, but we put in a lot of work to get to this point and it's so wonderful. So after lunging, I ask again for her to just yield her hindquarters. I um, enforce the stop is why I kind of shook the rope. And then here I'm once again asking her where her feet, front feet need to stay still, her back feet need to move. Now I'm also out of shape and so my body language could have been a lot better in this and that's kind of why there was that mis miscommunication. Um, nothing an easy, quick little correction couldn't fix. Of course, have to stop and fix my hair mostly because it's falling. I don't really use claw clips. I think that's what they're called much. Um, and so I'm still getting used to it and so I had to fix it. Here I am asking her to lunge out more fully. Um, I am moving my feet to adjust to where I want to be. I don't think Bucky taking this shot for himself. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I move my feet, but mostly to get into better position, I usually do plant and stay within the... <laughs> and there she goes. So she was just feeling fresh. I have not really asked her for anything at this point. Just to walk and maybe trot. Um, she's just feeling it. She was feeling good this day. She was just having a good old time. I'm not worried about it. Um... Here, I'm just asking her for lightness and for trotting. Um, Eden, sometimes when you ask for forward motion, will give you a fit or kind of fight back. And so um, I like to ask for it and then have her stop just so that um, she knows that I'm not going to ask her for tons and tons. And here, I turn my back to really signify that we're taking a longer break. Um, she doesn't need that much of a break. Um, they're all different in how long of a break they need. She doesn't need much. So I send her going back the other way. And she goes back on the circle, pushing out a little bit more. Here I ask for the trot. And again, reward her with a quick stop. And she didn't stop, so I kind of reinforce that with the rope to tell her to stop. She's trying to guess what I'm asking her to do. And I'm trying to get her to not be able to guess so that she doesn't just guess, but she listens. And you can see her head very gently turning into the middle of the circle. She's super nice and soft in her neck and her... Um, downwardness of her head I'm forgetting the words and I'm committed to doing this without editing or redoing it so I step back and drop my shoulders and my head and she knows I'm asking her to walk towards me I send her back out onto the circle she I, honestly at this point I could stop because she's done everything I've asked her to she looks nice she's doing fine here I'm asking her for some more speed if I had planned ahead I would have brought the whip and she's saying she's feeling good she's fresh I just don't let it bother me I keep kissing and clicking there we go a nice little canter so I'm just asking her at this point to just give me nice little canters so honestly I could have stopped before asking for the canter and she would that would have been a good refresher good getting back into it but I go ahead and ask for the canter because she I just kind of wanted to see where she was at with the canter we haven't done a ton of canter training and we really need I want to I've been pregnant so I haven't been wanting to push it because I know she can hop or give me sass so just like this um not a huge deal. Her neck is still soft. She's just telling me she doesn't really want to, which is fine. She's allowed to tell me that, but I'm still going to ask her for it. 
I'm swinging that rope. If I had been smart, I would have brought out the whip so that she could have the full length of the rope, and then I would have used the whip to reinforce. I give the cue for cantering with kissing. Um, so basically, I'm what I'm asking her to do is I'm wanting her to, just like that, I'm wanting her to give me a canter start without any sort of fight or sass. So it took a little bit. You could see her tendency to want to hop and just go, which is fine. Um, but I'm just... I will stop and the reward is whenever she just gives me a canter takeoff without giving me sass or attitude. Um, in later videos or as we keep working on things, um, I will make sure she's on the correct lead and more and more and more things. But for today, that's all I really wanted. And there we go. She's done in under five minutes. She is the queen of groundwork. We love her so much and can't wait to keep working with her. Thanks. Bye.